bitch. All right. So apparently I have just been invaded by the Dutch, and I know you really don't know what this means. It's very cryptic, it's very vague, but to be specific, what happened was, I was given a shout out by a gentleman that I watch, and apparently a gentleman that watches me, his name is Devastations. And I got all of these comments on my YouTube page this morning and throughout the duration of last night where it just said over and over and over, just repeatedly, just a copious amount of comments all with a similar premise. They were all saying the Dutch are invading and a Dutch bastard sent me and apparently I was given a shout out by a gentleman that I previously mentioned a, a few seconds ago. His name's Devastations. He's another Battlefield Bad Company 2 commentator that I watch religiously and he gave me a shout out and he drastically increased my viewer count and my subscriber base so I, I just wanted to take the first section of this commentary to thank him very much and I will also put his channel, his channel link in the description of this video. And I know that's not really, it's not equality. It's not exactly proper payback. Because I feel, this is the way that I feel. He has approximately 1,500, 1,500 subscribers. And I had less than 200 until last night. So it's kind of along the lines of, he's giving me a Ferrari and I give him half a Snickers bar that was half eaten already. That's, I don't feel like as if it's a tr fair trade off, but I do appreciate his generosity nonetheless and I bet he's watching as well, but thank you Devastations for devastating me in the greatest way possible. And obviously what you can see moving on from the, that reverse shout out or counter shout out if you will, we're playing on Isla Inocentes. And I'm using the AUG, which I usually do, and you guys know recently, even I, as I mentioned in my previous video, I've been bouncing around between games, and I've sort of, sort of settled back into Bad Company 2, but obviously just this year I just came to university and I have a roommate now, and a lot of my subscribers do play with me on PlayStation Network, and you've kind of seen that I've been bouncing around. I've been playing Jurassic the Hunted, which is a ridiculous dinosaur game, and then I was playing... I played Red Dead Redemption for a little while, and I played Call of Duty 4, but playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2. But those of you that actually play with me have noticed that I've been really, really awful lately, and that's probably just because it's my roommate playing. But I know you guys have observed that my behavior and uh, online interaction has kind of been odd lately because, you know, in the past it's been strictly Battlefield Bad Company 2, and all my commentaries and all my videos are all Bad Company 2. So I, I really have gone through kind of a, a dry spell in terms of playing Bad Company 2, but I'm slowly settling back into the game, and I I may I may just pick up Metal uh, the Medal of Honor game, which comes out in I believe mid October. But I was not necessarily impressed with the beta, but I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on the transition between games that I'm going through right now. And obviously Grand Theft Auto 4 is in the mail, and you can't go wrong with Grand Theft Auto 4. It's it's so entertaining because it's so freeform and there's so many possibilities. You guys, you guys will love that commentary. I guarantee it. I don't, I don't mean to sound like a pretentious, conceited bastard, but I know that you guys will enjoy the Grand Theft Auto 4 commentaries. And moving on to the gameplay, that's already halfway through the commentary. That's pretty awful. Obviously, you can see I'm using the AUG on Isla Innocentes. I believe I even previously mentioned that, but this was a game where. It's kind of uncharacteristic to what I'm actually use, use, used to playing. You guys probably know, and it's a notion of yours, that primarily I I am that that suicidal, objective-mongering player that always wants to go and get that objective, even if it means running in with a shotgun on a gigantic map and just throwing yourself on the MCOM, trying to get the charge set. You guys know that's the kind of player that I am, and, and I've kind of changed up my style recently. And by no means have I changed it up to kill mongering and only worrying about kill death ratio because obviously that's hugely irrelevant in this game. Yeah, it, it's kind of a transition from Modern Warfare 2 back to this game. It's like, oh, what? Guns actually have recoil? What's. What is the meaning of this? And I don't want to spark a debate either of. Call of Duty's better than Bad Company. No, no, no. Bad Company is better than Call of Duty. You know what? If you like eating chocolate ice cream and it makes you happy, 
feel free. If you like eating vanilla ice cream, feel free and makes you happy, I'm fine with it. In my opinion, there's really no need to compare the two. Now pay attention to this, watch this. There's a medic on my right hand side, watch, look, look, look. You see him, he's my teammate, he's in my squad. You would think that he would be protecting my back, but on second thought, He's going to let that guy run straight by him and shoot me. Moral of the story, please do not trust your squad mates in terms of watching your back. Especially if they're randoms. If they're your friends, see, I'm even going to spawn on him. He didn't even see the guy run right past him. And of course I'm going to go back and get the revenge kill because that's what a good Samaritan would do. And obviously I'm not going to let him run around in our spawn and get more kills. And that was really a central theme of what happened in... For those of you that don't know, I like to skip through some of my videos because if you want to see me die three straight times or if you want to see me run for a minute and 40 seconds, I'm probably just not going to show you that because it's too boring and if you wanted to see somebody running for a minute and 40 seconds, why not just go watch some track and field? And so here, my teammates are just so aggressive, they're really playing the role that I usually play, being the aggressive objective destroyer man if that's an official title I will be flabbergasted but I kinda sat back in this game as I previously mentioned and I just killed that was about the role that I fit into and I know ordinarily I just go for the object oh they just got C4 look at that I've tried some stupendous C4 kills in the past and I have just ended up blowing my own face off it's not an enjoyable time and as you can see here, I go for the knife, just trying to be the slayer throughout the duration of this game. But it really, it was so easy just to be a slayer when your teammates are that ag that aggressive and that that eager to actually arm the objective and destroy it. So really, my primary role was just to have fun and just to shoot people. And it's always fun to be in rooms like that. But the shame about Bad Company 2 is, oftentimes you're going to be playing with randoms, and with randoms comes skill that's sort of inconsistent so oftentimes if you really want to win you're gonna have to be the one that's gonna be destroying all the objectives instead of just playing slayer the entire game and and really that's something that is a rare occurrence in the game because there's so much rage quitting well there, I don't want to say a copious amount of rage quitting but obviously oftentimes you join a random game you're probably gonna be put on the weaker team because of all the rage quitters that's basic first-person shooter knowledge but it's always a gem to play with really great teammates that are also randoms. And I do apologize for this commentary being unorthodox of my style, being not so gameplay based, but it was kind of an update and just kind of a, a story video. But I will see you guys next time with hopefully a Grand Theft Auto or a Bad Company 2 gameplay and commentary. But I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.